Hey guys, how's it going? Murder of Birds here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the official Ruby Manga Anthology series here on the channel as we have officially come around full circle. So as many of you guys are probably aware, back in May of 2018, I was approached by Viz with the opportunity of partnership to share my thoughts, my excitement, my love, and my passion for Ruby through their new anthology series that they've been coming out with over the last year, starting all the way back when with the Red Like Roses anthology. And in those months that followed due to the massive reception of viewers and community support of those anthology videos, Viz continued our partnership where I also returned to cover uh, the anthologies of Mirror Mirror as well as From Shadows. So what ultimately started as a one-time thing blossomed into a continued effort thanks to my viewers, my subscribers, as well as the community, the Ruby fandom at large. Now almost one year later and from the positive receptions of Red Like Roses, Mirror Mirror, and From Shadows, we've arrived at the Ruby anthology volume I burn featuring the sunny little dragon herself, Yang Shao Long. Your Yang Shao Long, my sunny little dragon. I do want to state again that this video, this opportunity, would not be possible at all if not for the support of my viewers, my subscribers, the Rooster Teeth community, and the Ruby fandom. I know I say it a lot, but I am incredibly grateful for the love and support that you guys show for my videos and supporting them, especially videos like these, Ruby-based videos like my reactions, my reviews, my live stream discussions, my theory videos. I'd also like to give an extra special thank you to everybody over at Rooster Teeth for the approval of these videos, and especially Viz for contacting me, for reaching out, uh, for making this one of the best learning experiences as a YouTuber that it could have been. You know, I, I know that you know you guys have been very patient with me and i'm very grateful and thankful for that you know i've never done any type of big partnership videos on my channel before and you know when i heard it was about ruby i was like hey this is just a win-win overall so um you know like at the very beginning of the red like roses video that i started all those months back i mentioned that viz was a big part of my life it's how i got into a lot of the manga and anime series that i you know that i delved into growing up and you know not only have we come around full circle with all of these ruby anthologies for the channel but, you know, we've come around full circle with your influence of me when I was a kid growing up and now me kind of giving that back to all these other people getting into Ruby. So thank you guys very much for the support to Viz, to Rooster Teeth, and I hope you guys appreciate and enjoy the video. So as I mentioned before, I Burn is the fourth volume of the Ruby Anthology manga series. So that means you're either one away from already owning the complete set or you can pick up all four at a relatively great price to have a lot to go through and read about for the series so far. Red Like Roses, Mirror Mirror, and From Shadows have all been currently available for purchase both in digital and physical format for $12.99 and $8.99 respectively from a variety of brick and mortar as well as online retailers. I Burn is fresh off the presses, it is out in the wild, and it is currently available for purchase both in physical and digital format at the same price. And honestly, it's the best time to probably pick these up considering Ruby Volume 6 just concluded and we are at this point in a drought of Ruby until Volume 7 at RTX and you know in the coming months as well so um i'd highly recommend picking up any one of these it's a great read and it's something to do during the off season so if you're interested in picking up this installment or any of the anthologies so far uh, i will leave links in the description where you can do so but for this video similar to the previous installments i'm going to be rolling out the red carpet of course giving my own personal take my opinions my impressions my insight uh, to the read, uh, what it adds and what it applies to the Ruby series as a whole, and going through a variety of key factors as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Of course, be sure to leave any of your thoughts or feedback in the comment section to anything that I mentioned. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So this manga anthology is titled I Burn, and similar to the previous anthologies, it predominantly focuses on Yang Xiaolong during her time spent at Beacon Academy. However, unlike Ruby, Weiss, or Blake, it takes on a few different focuses. In Red Like Roses, we were shown the expressive side of Ruby that we hadn't really seen in the show proper before. In Mirror Mirror, we were given moments of reinforcement to Weiss's already established character from what the show delivered, and From Shadows helped the reader better understand the mental and emotional hurdles of Blake's life transitioning from White Fang to a noble huntress. However, from my perspective of reading this anthology, the phrase that I would best use to describe it is, it is genuinely fun and exciting. Every chapter feels like you're going on this crazy adventure with Yang, uh, a scenario where you don't know the possible outcomes yet, you're excited to see how it plays out. All the while having a rocket named Yang Xiaolong strapped to your back, barreling at a thousand miles an hour, just being drawn into these weird, funny, quirky scenarios of, of character moments, character feuds, jokes, 
humor. It, it, it's very much fun, and I think that's a part of Yang's personality that really lends itself well. The cheesy puns, the one-liners, the shoot-first, ask-questions-later demeanor that she has, but there's also some very tender, some very serious, and very real moments that shine through for Yang's character that I think a lot of readers are going to enjoy. You know, as we know her, Yang is the older sister to Ruby Rose. She is the partner teammate of Blake Belladonna, and she is the fellow friend of Wai Shni, but on her own, she is this firecracker with a silly to serious personality to match. As she stated, Honest reason? I'm a thrill seeker. I want to travel around the world and get wrapped up in as many crazy adventures as I can. And if I help people along the way, then that's even better. It's a win-win, you know? I see. Throughout this anthology, it is very clear that she is all about the excitement, the thrill, the adventure, the getting into trouble and trying to fight your way out of it no matter the situation. And again, it lends itself very well to Yang's personality, her character, who she's built up to be, who she's inspired by. And again, I think it's something a lot of people are going to enjoy. Are you just going to punch your way out of every problem in life? Uh, have you met Yang before? <sighs> Yet, despite her attitude and stern demeanor, especially based on her having a semblance that is regarded based on her emotions, much of Yang's personality resides in her caring and motherly actions. Not only to her friends, but most importantly, the main focus of this anthology is her connection, her relationship with Ruby. But I would say the overarching theme of this anthology is that it focuses on Yang as a fiercely loyal sister to Ruby, and it expresses her personality on and off the battlefield, which takes place during the events of Volumes 2 and Volume 3. Now, what exactly does that look like you might be wondering well if you're a fan of back alley fights featuring the malachite twins sisterly flashbacks cheesy and downright awful puns or an emphasis on shoot first ask questions later then you my friend are in for a treat and as a personal added incentive for this manga in particular the last chapter of this anthology is my all-time favorite of the anthology series thus far probably behind the weiss flashback of the mirror mirror anthology i won't give away anything but i will say it is great and i i really hope you guys enjoy enjoyed it as much as I did. Now, in tandem with the manga's focus on Yang's spunky personality, uh, it also exposes the more sensitive and maternal side of Yang and how she carries herself, not just as a member of Team Ruby, but also as an older sibling. It should be no surprise at this point, but Blake is heavily featured throughout this manga as it was a reciprocative factor of Yang being heavily featured in the From Shadows anthology based on their history, based on their chemistry, based on the fact that they are teammates and everything else in between. However, it is very, very clear that this anthology's heavy emphasis this is more so based on Yang's relationship with her sister, their relationship as sisters, especially since that aspect of their life hasn't really been flushed out in the show proper all that much. And if I didn't know any better, I'd say that this was a Yang and Ruby manga solely based on how often Ruby becomes the center of attention. As we all know, Ruby is essentially Yang's pride and joy. She is the smile worth protecting. She is the light worth keeping lit. And we've seen time and time again that while Yang might come off as this blonde, party girl who doesn't really care that much about things she shoots first asks questions later the amount of love concern admiration that she has for her sister cannot be denied but i'm so proud of you really sis it was nothing oh i'm so proud of my baby sister <laughs> cut it out I'm <gasps> so happy you're okay what is it nothing led by Ruby Rose. I'm so proud of you! Ruby! Are you okay? I've always got your back, sis. I love you. <laughs> I love you too! So even based on her past of her upbringings, of being someone who had to be the caretaker of Ruby, I think seeing the dynamic of not only that aspect of Yang, but also as a big sister, coming to the rescue is something enjoyable for viewers. And I think, especially like I said for myself, being an older sibling, it's something that I think older siblings or even younger siblings can appreciate seeing from a story perspective. Now, one of the most exciting parts of the anthology for me was the return of some familiar faces that we haven't seen in quite some time. I am, of course, speaking of Junior and the Malachite twins, who first debuted during the original Yellow trailer, as well as made a brief cameo appearance during Volume 2. These three characters made such an impression when the show first started, and like I said, we haven't really seen them flushed out or in fighting form technically since the Yellow trailer back in 2013, and even though they made a brief cameo during Volume 2 in 2014, we never really got anything grandier 
of them as a role outside of the beacon arc but honestly seeing the malachite twins in particular especially the situation and how they return and confront yang was not only hilarious but i think it was a long-awaited rematch that i think a lot of us have been craving since volume one it is very bizarre in the grand scheme of things but very satisfying to see nonetheless so i really hope for those of you guys who check it out i hope you guys like it and speaking of familiar faces that's another big treat that this manga offers similar to the other ones where we're seeing characters that we haven't seen in a long time from the show's perspective because at this point like a lot of the characters that we're getting are during the events between volume two and three which was during the vital festival tournament and at this point that took place over three years ago so again it's great to see teams like arburn indigo Bron bronze funky and just people that we we don't know when or if we'll see them again depending on where we're going in different aspects of the show proper uh you know of seeing these variety of characters that made a splash and made a great appearance during the during volume three so i think it's just great that we get to see these characters again in some way shape or form until hopefully the present day events of the show uh, allows us to see them again in animated form but for now it's great to see these characters again it's a blast from the past and it's really great i also mentioned this earlier but as a final send-off i just want to say it again but the last chapter of this volume is my absolute favorite chapter of the set it's emotional it's satisfying it's something that i wish we could have seen in the show or rather with this one scene that we got during volume six it is very well something that we could get in the future of the series again i don't want to give too much but i will say it is a flashback chapter it's one that takes place on the island of patch where ruby and yang grew up and that is all i am saying it was a great conclusion to an anthology and again i loved it and i hope you guys do too but in closing there's comedy it provides action there's flashbacks, there's genuine emotional scenes and moments and perspectives of Yang, her friends, returning characters, returning rivals, and I think at the end of the day, it made for a great conclusion. And not even just this anthology, but I think all of the volumes brought something new and exciting to the table in an attempt for not only the fans to get more Ruby goodness, but also for Rooster Teeth to expand their world building, expand the narrative uh, of the characters and events and plot points uh, within the Ruby universe. Ruby is much more expressive, Weiss's past and childhood further cement and reinforce her character. Blake is a character that we can all empathize with a lot more from her past and present. And Yang is, while still spunky, she has the added charm of a sensitive side, which is a lot more prominent throughout this anthology. So whether you're a diehard Ruby fan or someone who enjoys the more casual aspect of certain characters or certain moments throughout the series, I'd recommend these anthology volumes to anyone who's looking to either expand their palette that they already have or who are looking to get into the Ruby universe. And on a more personal note, this experience has been incredible getting the opportunity to share my thoughts and my passions of the ruby anthology over the last year has been so much fun i said it at the top of the video but i am incredibly grateful to all of my viewers subscribers fellow fans of ruby uh, and all of the support that you guys have shown me continue to show me in helping making videos like these possible it's definitely been a pleasure reading your comments across this video series of even seeing some of you guys who went out and picked up copies of these anthologies for yourselves based on watching my videos so thank you very very much i appreciate that more than anything and hopefully you enjoyed reading them you enjoyed my recommendations and hopefully it was a good choice on your end and lastly uh, a very special thank you again to everybody over at rooster teeth you guys have been nothing but incredible and supportive over the last few years especially with how a lot of people initially discovered my channel being very supportive and active of approving of these videos from viz and a very special thank you to viz for the partnership for the opportunity that i never thought i'd be able to have on my channel at the level at this level you know what i mean you know this is my first time that i've ever partnered with a company and it's been a learning experience for sure it's been something that you know viz has been very 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 patient with me on one point or another uh, and trying to make this the best kind of series that it can be on my channel as majority of my time as a youtuber has been a one-man army effort i've done everything on my channel by myself so having people come in and and help me learn how to edit and revise uh you know a script and how to deliver on certain things and how to get my points across here or there it's been it's definitely been a learning experience that i i've, I've appreciated very much so across all of these videos i want to give a very special thank you to justin ryan lawrence and jacob for your leadership and guidance across this entire process of making these videos the best that they can be thank you very much for having patience with me and ultimately i hope this video makes you guys proud i hope this video makes rooster teeth proud and i hope it provides something to somebody out there in the community uh you know when it comes to these anthology videos of sharing my love my passions my thoughts my personal opinions on them 
and the like. But with all that said, guys, that concludes my final thoughts and impressions on the official Ruby manga anthology series for I Burn. Uh, if you're planning on picking up a copy for yourself or you already have, I'd love to know what you guys think about the manga, this video, anything that I mentioned in the comment section, especially if these videos helped you in any way, shape, or form with understanding more of the manga or wanting to pick it up or check it out for yourself. I'd greatly appreciate that. But once again, I want to say thank you to everybody for watching all of the videos that I provided for the official Ruby Manga Anthology series. Thank you once again to my viewers, my subscribers, to Rooster Teeth, and to Viz for the opportunity and for the overall support. And until next time, I will see you guys all in the next video. Take care.